and in this video I have my second project with the August Thompson's craft supplies kit to share with you. I thought this week I would make some birthday cards. I realise that's like a really obvious thing to do with this kit but you know sometimes obvious isn't necessarily a bad thing and I just yeah I thought birthday cards let's go for it. So for each card I'm going to make three in this video. I always seem to make three when I do these videos but anyways um, I've just taken that paper pad that's called embossed brights. I got that from the works because I just wanted some plain colours to have as my backgrounds so I've picked a yellow a pink and a blue for those um, I've got two five by seven size cards and one six by six and I've got all the card blanks for them ready obviously you don't need to buy card blanks you could just cut them and fold them yourself but as I make a lot of cards I have a lot of card blanks lying around so for each of these cards I'm gonna do stenciling on them this first one I'm using this nouveau glitter paste in it's not glitter paste it's called glimmer paste and i've forgotten the color but it's a dark blue this has gone really really thick though i might need to figure out a way that they need storing better or something because yeah i haven't used it in a while and it's gone urg, so thick but and you can see it doesn't look amazing the stenciling on the background but it's okay i cover i cover the bad bits up for the most part um and then i'm going to use the honeydew bow bunny glitter paste which i got as an add-on for last month's kit um and i will link that because i'm pretty sure louise still has some in store but i thought it would go nicely with the blue that i was using for this card so yes that stencil by the way is from the kit as well the reason you keep seeing me use those little uh, cream pieces of paper those are some heavy stock from a previous kit i forget which one and I thought I was going to do a centerpiece on every single card with that heavy stock. And that's why I was like measuring things against them. It turns out I only use that on one of the cards. But that's why I keep using them. And that's what it is. And then for this final card with this star stencil, which is just from my stash. I'm pretty sure I got it from AliExpress. I'm using some Nouveau embellishment mousse in... I'm having a day where I just forget all the colours, apparently. They will all be in the description box, as they always are. So yes, if I can't remember a colour... You can go find it if you are interested. So yes, stars on that one. And then for each one of these, I'm going to add oxides around the edges. Um, just so they, you know, the background stands out and stuff. And I love to ink the edges of things. I do it all the time. This first one, I do know this colour. This is peacock feathers going around the pink one. Because there's a sort of a tealy minty theme going on that card. I'm going in with blueprint sketch on this one. Because it's a nice sort of royal blue that I'm doing on this one. And then on the final one, oh, what do I use? Twisted citron. There we go. Look at me remembering colours. Well done me. Um, and that really played well nicely against the uh, the honeydew gl glimmer paste kind of thing so now i'm going to put all my sort of my bases down onto my card blanks just with some double-sided tape these are by the way i will probably put mixed media cards in the title of this video but they're not heavy 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 mixed media i was having a conversation with louise quite recently you know who owns thompson's craft and we were saying how it does seem like a lot of people go kind of ah to mixed media because they think it always means that kind of thing that you know all the mixed media greats do like finnevere and stuff you know with all that heavy gesso and metal embellishments and they just create those amazing things and that's not necessarily what mixed media means it also means using multiple types of media so technically doing a card with just some glitter paste and some paper that is mixed media so yeah i'm sure i'm preaching to the choir here you're all going yeah we know obviously but i feel like there are some people out there who just go la 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 don't want to know because they find it too too big too intimidating or something so this is why i'm going quite simple with these cards Anyway, so now I'm going to kind of focus on one card at a time, starting with this one. This one is going to end up quite a girly card. Just then, when I was chatting on about nothing, um, I was just used, cutting apart some bits from one of the many cut-apart sheets from this kit. And I've decided for this one, firstly, I cut that banner piece um, and I stuck it down before it inked the edges. So I very quickly had to pull that back up again and put more peacock feathers around the edges. And then that balloon picture there that is from one of the Kayser craft cut aparts I'm gonna say and obviously I've put that on there but I have back to that just with a random piece of cardstock just so it's nice and sturdy on there because I wanted to lift it up slightly from the background these frames I'm using if you saw last week's video I had done some fussy cutting from one of the cut apart sheets and 
I'd use my craft knife to keep the frame of the cut apart. Like they were done intentionally to be three by four journaling cards, but I wanted to fussy cut the images in them. So I kept the frames on purpose. And there we go, I have used them, yay. On the bottom of the card, I just used some red line tape there to put some of that pom-pom trim just for a bit of funsies. And now I am taking some of the wooden embellishments from the kit and I am taking Nouveau Embellishment Mousse, that is in peony pink, remember the colour, and just using my finger to colour the the wood there. It kind of, um, you've got to do small layers at a time, because otherwise the embellishment mousse just sort of gathers around the bits of the letter, you can kind of see me picking it off there, but yeah, if you just put a little bit on your finger, rub it on, leave it for a minute, do another layer, and again, do that until you've got the colour you want, because if you try and just smoosh it on all at once, you're just going to get unpleasant, moosey lumps everywhere. And so, yes, I decided it needed something else rather than just that little happy birthday. So I've added this label, which is from like the ephemera from the kit and just putting that on with a brad. That is from my stash. I have absolutely no idea where that's from, but it had mint on it. So I thought it would go. Oh, it has started to rain very loudly. You might even be able to hear that on the skylight, but yay for rain. I'm so happy that it's raining. Oh, joy. And all the flowers are going to finally get watered and oh you guys know what it's been like recently so hot and dry and yay for rain anywho what am I doing um I stuck that sort of centerpiece on with some foam just to lift it up and I'm uh adhering my wooden pieces on with this high tack glue I like to use this glue for things that aren't papery things it just it's very very slow drying but it is very sticky and it's just brilliant. If I'm not getting out my gel medium or anything, this is my second choice kind of glue to go for, that high-tech stuff. I forget the brand, but I will link it in the description box. Okay, card number two. I am going to go back to all these cards and add finishing embellishments to all of these, just in case you're wondering. But yes, card number two has ended up being quite a masculine one. I didn't start off with that plan. I very much just kind of made it up as I went along for these. But yes, this one's ended up fairly masculine. It doesn't have to be masculine, obviously. Some, it's kind of got also like a New York cab theme but anyway I am taking the heavy stock for this one I've covered it in blueprint sketch distress oxide and I've just sprayed some water on it to get that oxidization reaction now that cut apart that says happy birthday cupcake that would have gone beautifully like the color and everything is perfect but the problem is I, if I put happy birthday cupcake on it, I couldn't give this card to anyone because anyone who knows me will know that I tend to use cupcake as an insult. Not really to anyone I know, it's more like when I'm having road rage or something or I'm just quite a sarcastic driver, you know, when you're behind someone and they're driving really slow, I'm just like, oh, the accelerator's on the right, cupcake. So I'm that kind of person. So cupcake I use not necessarily as a positive thing. So long story short, I couldn't use it on a card that I gave to someone. So <laughs> yes, I'm going to have to um, use that one in a different way. So I cut that party time one that's from a Kaiser Craft one. I've got that little car that I fussy cut. That strip there with the yellow on. I'm going to add uh, Distress Oxide Stormy Sky around some of the edges so they stand out. It's kind of a very grey blue. So... It was the same colour theme as the card, but also stood out from that very classic blue colour of the background. I also decided, however, that the background needed something else. So I've just taken this triangle stencil, I believe it is a creative expressions one. Some of the Nouveau Glimmer paste, the black one, whatever that one's called. And that one hadn't thickened up like my blue one, so I don't know what that's about. But yeah, that one was easier to work with. So yeah, I just thought, yeah, the triangles worked really well on that against like the circles of the background that the water had created and whatnot so when they were dry I'm adding all these little bits that I've prepared on there just that strip and then my little cab this is why it's kind of got like a hint I know that car isn't a New York cab but the whole colors together kind of imply that I suppose anyways I'm adding black soot distress oxide around the edges so it stands out I know generally speaking putting black and blue together is considered some sort of sin and Oh, if you're wondering what I'm doing there with my <laughs> with my hands, sometimes when I squeeze my glue bottle, because sometimes you really have to squeeze that Nouveau Tacky glue out really, really hard and for ages, and then your hand kind of gets trapped in that position and you have to unpeel your fingers. You know, like you, you used to do, do those things like at primary school and stuff when you'd like press your hand against the wall and then it would all stiffen up and stuff. It's like that. But anyway, what was I saying about the oxide? I was putting it around the edge to make it stand out against the yellow background. That's what I was doing. Card number three. 
This one has got quite a tropical vibe. It's kind of girly as well, like the first one, but yeah, tropical, I suppose. And I'm just here, I'm taking an embossing pen and putting the ink around the edges and then adding this wow embossing glitter in the color Raspberry Coolie around the edges. I had to do that a couple of times because sometimes it didn't emboss very well and it was all patchy after I heated it up. So there's quite a few layers of embossing powder there. And then I'm going to take some of these very beautiful ephemera pieces. They are from Pink paisley confetti wishes obviously from the kit and i'm just going to add those around that centerpiece card that i've made i'm going to put this up on foam just like i did with the first card i've used some tiny foam squares on that the edge of that leaf so you know that stands up as well and then i'm just going to pop those down uh with some more tacky glue the foam by the way is the dovecraft junior a5 foam sheets i just picked these up in the range and they're so cheap and it's just it's so much easier than buying foam tape and having to argue with that stuff yeah i just use that now i am adding the thing that i always mean to google how to pronounce and always forget to the sisal sisal strawberry stuff um this kit comes with a choice of three colors there's a a pink a purple and a blue and i chose the pink i just thought it would be fun to work with so i'm taking some 3d gloss gel and just placing that down on my card and then putting my sisal i will remember to google it one of these days and then so having that underneath my big cluster there putting that on as well with the gloss gel just because with that all those different types of medium gloss gel is really the best thing to use and I'm just trimming off the the stuff that I don't know how to pronounce around the edges just to tidy up a bit and now I'm just going to go through and finish off all of my little cards with a mix of sequins and nouveau drops two of my favoritest things to use and I'm sorry if you're fed up of me using them but it just when you find something you like you want to use it so these blue sequins i'm using here i've had those for yonks and yonks i bought a big bag of them from poundland and they have just lasted me forever they're just not going down at all so i've just put those randomly on my blue and yellow card and the sequins i use for this card and the next one are the ones from the kit the neat and tangled wild orchid sequin mix this one i'm being careful just to stick with the pinky colors i don't think i use any of the purple sequins because i didn't have any purple already on the card and i didn't want to introduce that new color element onto it kind of thing so i think that's what i did yeah i did and then this one i am adding purple ones as well because even though there's not technically purple on it it that purple goes really well with the pink sisal sisal why can't i remember and also with that um uh glitter embossing powder which again it's not actually purple but it's got blue and pink glitter in it which obviously creates a purple effect and now i'm going to use some nouveau drops i'm going to do them in like uh, heart shapes I just kind of draw two little diagonal lines and that eventually creates the heart shape because when they dry they sort of fatten up a bit and it looks more like a heart than just like a little arrow kind of thing those nouveau drops were sherbet shimmer these I'm using on the yellow and blue card are midnight sky and then finally aquatic mist on my very very girly card and I think with that just finishing off my little hearts there and adding a couple little droplets and whatnot my cards are complete phew so hopefully right as I speak now there will be some close-ups of what the cards look like I hope you enjoyed this video maybe it gave you some ideas for making some cards I do love making me some cards it's great fun um as I said, all the stuff, all the info of things I've forgotten to say will be in the description box. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Chat to me in the comments. I love talking to you guys. And it's time for me to go. Thank you so much again. Bye-bye!